Welcome to our tutorial creating our own template in Dreamweaver. Today we're going to create a template so we'll go to File, New, Blank Template, we're going to have it as a PHP template, our layout is going to be None, this just means we're going to have a blank template that we can work on ourselves. These here are some examples of ready-made templates a different number of columns, centre and left side so far, so forth. They can be somewhat difficult though to uh, get sorted out right. Um, if you are going to use some, try the ones down here, HTML5, 2 column, 3 column. But we're going to create our own now from the notes. We'll set the document type to be in HTML5. We won't worry about a CSS file. If we had a CSS file, we could attach it at this point in time. But we can do it ourselves later on. So we'll just go to Create. We're looking at it here now in code view and we're seeing a basic HTML document. What we're going to do then, and again in conjunction with the notes, is in the body we're going to create a number of divisions. So I'll just make a little bit of space there. And the first thing we're going to do is to create our, our overview division, which I'm going to give it an ID of container. So it's going to be a div, and it's going to have an ID equal to container. Now, it's sometimes handy, once you make a division, to put in the end tag. And Dreamweaver, you'll see there, had automatically picked up that it was the end of division. Just for neatness, I'm going to do a wee tab, just to move the cursor over. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put space in for a header, where we'll have our logo and so forth. So there is in HTML5 a header tag, so we put it in. You'll notice here with Dreamweaver that it... Um, gives you a, a list here of possible tags you could use. So I can help things a wee bit. Again, we put our header in, go down the line or two, and just put in a end of header tag. And in here, for the moment, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a H1 tag, which is a headline 1 tag, and I'm just going to say logo goes here, or something like that. And then finish it off with the end of header tag. So that's going to be our header. Next section of the page is going to have our um, navigation. Okay, there is in HTML5 a nav tag, which we'll use, and we're going to give it a class this time. So class is going to be equal to, and I'm going to call it horizontal. Both the class and the ID, as mentioned above, they don't exist yet. They will come into being with the um, population of our CSS file that we'll carry on to shortly. Uh, next in here, in order to have navigations, typically we do that with a um, unordered list and a number of list items. So I'm just going to put in an unordered list with a UL and then the ending UL tag. Oops. And I'm just going to put in one uh, list item. And as this is going to be used as a means of navigation, it needs to have an anchor tag. So it'll be a href equal to, um, you could browse, but we haven't created that one yet. So just for the moment, I'm just going to put in a um, index.php. Um, that isn't the right thing to have, but for the moment it'll work. I'll just call it home, and then we have the end of the, the anchor tag. As we go through building our website, we'll be able to add more um, list items here, which will give us cap greater capability for navigating. And the next section now, so that's we've got our logo, we've got our, our area where we're going to have our navigation. So then we get into our area where we want to have the main content. So we'll create a section here, and we'll give it a class, or an, actually we'll give it an ID, I think, um, equal to main. So that's going to be our main navigation area, or our main content area, rather. Um, and then the section there. We wanted to put some content on the right-hand side of the screen, and that's known as an aside. So we put in the aside tag, and we will give um, the aside no, no name at all at the moment. We'll just leave it. This is just really so that um, you can experience the different types of ways in which we can actually put um, tags together. 
bottom of the page then we want we oops, we want to have a footer. So there is a footer tag. Let's see it there. And inside the footer tag, one of the interesting tags you can have is address, uh, which is one that is worthwhile getting the habit of of using because it will be used uh, later on by um, search engines, hopefully. Okay, so this is the address. Let's type that in there. Um, I forgot to put in the end of footer, but it'll take it automatically. Just needs a little bit of clean up there. And that there is our page. If we look at in design mode, okay, we've got a little piece of information. We see we've got a, a link there. We've got the address information. We could go back into the code section here, and in the main section here, we put some text in. This is the main content, and then when we look at it in the design view, you'll see that it says it there as well. We could go and go back into the code view, and in the aside, we could put in um, this is the aside, and when we look in design view, you'll see that it's there underneath it rather than at the side, just because we have no CSS. We will look at doing a CSS in the next tutorial. So for the moment, what we have here is the code that we want to get in to our body. Okay, so we can see here that we've got our container, which is, the, we've got our body from here down. We've got our container, which is all where all of our content is going to go. We have the header, where the logo is going to go. We have the navigation, where the navigation is going to be. We have the main section, we have the aside, and we have the footer with an address in it. And this concludes this tutorial.